morning team welcome to a sort of average morning in our lives now it's not quite so average because Leah is fighting off a migraine right now um, but typically I get up with Frankie and we come out here and we give mom a little bit of time to sleep in after a long night of hanging out with this little guy but now we are on the reusable diaper train and we were Pretty excited to get started, but it does make things uh, a little more challenging, for sure. Okay, today is our first day changing a reusable diaper. <laughs> All right, so up until this point, we've had to use uh, disposable diapers. These are preemie diapers, and for the longest time, he didn't even fit into these. We had to fold them over mm -hmm. just to fit on his tight little body. But today, for the first time, we were able to put him in a reusable diaper. So let's... Um, Oh my lord, Frankie, I know. Oh. So like half of his body is this diaper right now. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay. far, so good. So far, so good. We put in this liner. So we used the liner. We used the liner and it actually worked. Oh, and this, I don't know, is that just warm or is it wet? I don't know. I can't tell. I think it's just warm from his body, I think maybe. it's just warm. Wow, so far, so good, y'all. A pee and a poop in there. Okay. <laughs> what? <Stop. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like he's got like a huge. What is, like, what is what going is, on? <laughs> like proportional to his body. This is ridiculous, dude. Buddy! Oh, my oh goodness. lord. <laughs> Here, hold on. I'll pick him up so you can see his butt. Look at what this diaper looks like on him. <laughs> It's just like, it's just like a third of his whole body it's like is diapered. the size of his head. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, buddy, that's a badong. <laughs> you got it from your mama. <laughs> Is awake now and she's pumping and pumping there's a lot of my boob <laughs> here we'll, we'll film it from from this perspective look now that now, now there's that, a mug <laughs> now there's a mug in the way of your boob. um we got a gift from someone who follows our channel named grace nichols um she's apparently quite quite old um but follows our channel and loves frankie let me get a I knife. Mean, how could you not? Oh, 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 look at this hat. Is this a homemade hat? Oh, no. Hat? Oh, there's another Two one. Two hats? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, she made them herself. They are so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Look. Oh. 
Levi, Leah, and Frankie. This might even fit his head. My name is Kim Dillon, and I'm gonna do a care for a lovely Lady Grace. She's she just turned a hundred years old, and when I turned her about Frankie, she was pleased to knit a hat. Yeah. Hoping the hats fit him. Enjoy every moment. Sincerely, Kim and Grace. Wow, oh. that is so nice. Should we see if it fits? Yeah, see if it fits his little head. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh they fit you. That means you've grown so much. So in the weeks that we have been parents, uh, we basically haven't cooked a single meal for ourselves. Between Leah's mom making literally hundreds of hundreds muffins, muffins that we eat almost every single day and my parents cooking almost all of our meals while they're here, they're hiding behind the camera right now. <laughs> we have been very well taken care of, but Today's sponsor has reached out to make our lives even easier. We're working with Fresh Prep again. <laughs> so if you don't know what Fresh Prep is, they are a meal delivery kit that is sent to you. Uh, what we love is that they're also based out of Vancouver. They deliver to 20 cities in Western Canada, including the big ones like Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver. And but, even Nanaimo. Yeah, exactly, and even here in Nanaimo. <laughs> we have worked with them in the past because they are a registered B Corporation, a local business, and they source all their food locally. So let's see what we, uh, oh, let's, let's see what we got. So the meal kits are delivered to your door in this freezer pack, which you return, so there's no cardboard boxes involved. They try to minimize plastic wherever possible, and they've created a zero waste kit, which has these little compartments that allow them to eliminate single use plastics entirely from certain meals. So this week we got a cauli crumble burrito bowl, as well as the creamy Tuscan shrimp tortiglioni. Yeah, Tor yeah. that sounds good. Now, before we get into the actual preparation of this meal and see what it actually looks like, uh, you can get yourself some of this goodness for yourself. And you can use our discount code to save up to 90% off your first order if this is your first time with Fresh Prep. And we also get a small kickback on every order that you do place. So if you do use that code, you're supporting us in that way as well. If you love us and Frankie, just order fresh prep. It's fine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All funds directly go to his Arius. <laughs> has 50% of their meals as vegetarian or fully vegan. So that's a really awesome option. This one came in the zero waste kit. So that was pretty cool to get to show it off. And think of all of the pressure you relieve from your mothers and fathers from <laughs> cooking you all of your food when you have a kit. <laughs> if you want to try it for yourself, you can get up to 90% off by using the link. Anything to add, Frankie? So this is part of our morning walk. We try and do this every day with Frankie. Sometimes it doesn't happen until 12.30, but uh, you know, it happens. So one of the many comments that we received from you when it was known that we were gonna have a baby was how uh, we would share or not share Frankie with the world online. Um, our stance as of right now is that we're going to not completely hide his existence, but we're not going to be showing his face a tremendous amount on this channel. Um, that just makes us feel better. Better to, uh, you know, do less now and be able to add more than, you know, share him a whole bunch and then realize that maybe that wasn't the right call later. So you'll still see, you know, stuff like this, us hanging out with him. He'll be here. He's going to be around. You might hear him squawk. You might even see him do a little dance, but or his reusable diapers. Or his reusable diapers. 
but uh, yeah, our, our plan is to play it safe. Um, we are a little bit more revealing with uh, our Patreon members over there. Uh, we give more updates as to like kind of the baby stuff because we recognize that not all of you are interested in baby related content on this channel because we are renovating the trailer. That is our primary focus with our content here. We've talked to other creators about the choice to share or not share your kid online. We've talked to Matt Diavella, who also has a Frankie. I'm sorry, Matt, we totally didn't mean to have stole the name because it's a great name. Uh, and Dana and Lou with them sharing Max. And it seems to be that a lot of them are in the same boat as us. Like, want to share parts of it because this is understandably a huge part of our life. But they're not old enough to consent to be online. So, you know, we're playing it safe right now and we'll just see how it goes for the foreseeable future. Look, Frankie, it's the Pacific Ocean. Wow, take it all in, bud. Buddy, buddy, you're not even, come on, man, like this is the view of a lifetime here. You're not even, you're not even interested. <laughs> He's passed out, he'll never, you he won't know about this view for a while, I don't think. We're gonna get into a, a little story time about how we got to this point, but um, yeah, we gotta change the dude first. Oh, oh, oh. Hell, dude, it's not that bad. So the last two weeks have been intense, but probably the most intense part of this whole new experience was the actual hospital stay. So in our last video, before we had Frankie, we talked about the fact that I was getting induced because the little fella here was not growing um, as much as they wanted when he was inside the womb. So the plan was to induce me so that we could just fatten him up on the outside, feed him directly, uh, which seems to be yeah, working he's doing that a so lot. far. He does this a lot, which Big fan. So we arrived at the hospital at 8 a.m. Uh, and we were thinking that, okay, they're going to, you know, give me some hormones, send me on my way. The nurse that we were with was like, oh no, actually, we're just keeping you here. You're not going anywhere because we want to observe you to make sure that you and baby are doing okay. Which but, was actually a really good call because yeah. uh, it wasn't the smoothest process. Um, there's so many things that go on with uh, a birth, um, especially with an induced pregnancy. Um, they were sort of increasing the amount of oxytocin that Leah had in her system that sort of stimulates the contractions. And for the first little while, he was not reacting to them very well. His heart rate was dropping every time that there was a contraction and they were really worried about whether or not he would be able to do a vaginal birth. At that point, we had our doctor and there was also an obstetrician who was coming in and, you know, checking on my progress. And the obstetrician was basically like, all right, we've tried the oxytocin. It had been like two or three hours at that point. He's like, be prepared. We're basically going to do a C-section. Yeah. So I was trying to mentally prepare myself like, okay, yeah. it wasn't what my plan was, but let's do it if that's what's best for him. But then he got called away on, on an emergency surgery and we didn't see him for like two, three hours. So yeah. our doctor and the nurses were like, well, let's just try the oxytocin once more. Cause I have been off and on for hours. Put it on, his heart rate was great. When the obstetrician finally did come back, he was like, you know what, this is looking good. Let's break your water and let's get this baby going. I think basically once your water had broken, it was like two hours. Yeah, so pretty rapid from yeah. like, not much is going on. I think I was maybe three centimeters dilated by uh, 4 p.m. and baby was out two and a half hours later. Probably one of the most stressful parts of this whole thing was actually once he came out into the world, we had to learn how to latch him. We had to figure out whether or not he was healthy, how his whole body was operating, and we had to deal with jaundice which is common um, especially in smaller babies but it meant we had to put him in this like bio light tube thing he um, looked like a little glow worm and he had to wear this little <laughs> eye mask and he hated it and kept pulling it over his mouth so i didn't sleep because i could just see him 
like trying to suffocate himself on this thing and he is just so small like he was four pounds 15 ounces when he was born and i think by the end of that second day he was four pounds nine ounces like yeah babies typically lose weight after they're born but it was hard yeah. to watch yeah he was already so small i was thinking Once we got home though, um, we we had a whole kind of new experience, which was yeah. like settling into life, living with Leah's parents while having um, little Frankie around in the mm. house. And it's been really nourishing. It's It's been exactly kind of what we hoped it would be, which is an opportunity for us to slow down. We're pretty fast paced people. We, we like to do a lot and this is like probably the most stationary we've been since COVID. Yeah, it's uh, it's honestly been such a nice process of just slowing down, getting to know him, Levi and I figuring out our new dynamic as yeah. parents, right? Yeah. And it's it's been really amazing, honestly. Like I, as someone who's normally uh, very productive or like doing lots of things, I have to keep reminding myself that like my most important job is to just feed him, hold him, you know, like comfort him. So, and it know. is a full time job. It is a full time job. Between that and like keeping myself relatively clean, it's it's a lot. It's <laughs> like if I get one extra job done in a day, I'm like, aha! Today I did laundry, or today I made bread. That's great. That's a fantastic day. So we're on our way to the public health unit, which you can just drop in and get your baby weighed at any time. Uh, put your guesses down below. I am thinking he's gonna be five pounds, nine ounces. Levi, what do you think? How many ounce, like, is it 50? No, there's 12 there, ounces in a pound? There's 16 ounces. So it's quite six pounds, but I'll, I'll go, I'll go five, 15. 515. Yeah, I Whoa. think he's I think he's gonna be right on the edge of six pounds. Damn, okay. That might be too high. Okay. Okay. Little did that Prius know that it would go from wild international adventure vehicle to kid carrier in the span of a couple months. <laughs> what a legacy. <laughs> it's Frankie's legacy. <laughs> Honestly though, he is not more chill in any other circumstance than when he is in this carrier thing. Yeah, he loves being in the carrier, loves being in the car. He knows that was where he was conceived. He's very <laughs> comfortable there. Oh my god. exciting. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't dramatic at all. No. Okay. <laughs> so, a little bit of math because they weighed them in kilograms instead of... We are in Canada, so yeah, that makes sense. We probably but, should know that. But we don't. Um, no. How do I... Okay. Uh, 5.8. Price is right rules? Oh no, I was over. I, did I say 5.9? I said 5... Oh my god. Okay, so... Five fifteen. We, 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 got our, we got our hopes up. He is not growing nearly as fast as we sort of thought that he was growing. No, but he has... He's grown four, four ounces. Four ounces in a week. In a week. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty solid. We're I happy. Think... We're happy with growth. I'm happy with that. We're happy with growth. Um, oh. So, uh, thank you for following along to the end of this uh, little update for you about our lives. Um, we're still gonna be taking it easy a little bit, um, and our next upload, we're gonna be telling you what's been going on with the trailer, because there's been... <laughs> <laughs> a lot with that. You didn't forget that we also were renovating a trailer, right? We just have a newborn and a trailer. 
Uh, so chill. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, team. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Bye. So today is kind of a exciting but nerve-wracking day because we are going to take the trailer to a guy in town who is a fiberglass specialist. He's basically going to tell us whether she's worth it or if we bought a hunk of junk. Levi, how are you feeling about this? Um, I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> oh, no.